Hey Bulls, I'm Jeremiah Skillman. And I'm Corey Crawford. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Bulls, Bulls TV. TV. Okay, let's go. All right, we know we love days off of school. Let's go to Lonnie to see our upcoming days we have off of school. Hey Bulls, we have a lot of no school days coming up in November. Friday, November 1st is Parent-Teacher Conference Day, Monday, November 11th is Veterans Day, and November 25th to 29th is our Thanksgiving break. And don't forget, we have no school tomorrow, Friday, October 25th, so don't show up. That's all I have for you today, Bulls. This is Leilani Ennis reporting for Bulls TV. Thanks, Lonnie. Now, great checks are coming up, athletes. Let's head downstairs to hear more information. Attention, student athletes. Great checks are coming up. Here's some things you should be doing. First thing you can do is make sure you don't have any missing assignments. If you are going to be absent, you can always email your teacher to get the assignments that will be assigned. Make sure you check Google Classroom on a daily basis so you have all your assignments turned in. And study for your tests. Not only are we students, but we are athletes. Let's hear what the coach has to say. Grade checks are very important. We like to make sure and stay on top of our athletes' grades. Um, one athlete going down could be the end of a season for some of us. Um, a lot of our athletes need to stay on top of their grades and make sure they're in classes too as attendance does affect their eligibility. And remember, make sure to stay on top of your work so you don't have to worry about missing assignments. Thank you, Kahari. As you may know, we're in the middle of our presidential election. Our students are learning about it. Javi also took a trip to a presidential event to see the behind the scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing history in the making. This can change the future of America, the 2024 presidential elections. Hey Bulls, I'm Javier Solano, and welcome back to another Bulls TV segment. As we all know that the presidential election is coming up and it's everywhere in the news where both sides are trying to sway for votes. With that in mind, Ms. Shine and her class decided to take an interesting and unique way to learn the importance of voting. Our elections unit starts with picking teams for the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. There's four teams. We have the campaign team, the interest team, the political parties, and the media. Everybody has a role and everyone learns all the different aspects of running a campaign. So we had our debate today and they understand how difficult it is and how expensive it is to have someone run for office. The ability to vote is one of the many rights that is important for not only us but for our country as well. Having the ability to vote for our next president or even a senator can impact your life. So it is important to know who you are voting for and why you are voting for them. Anyways, Bulls, that is all the time I have for today. This is Javier Solano, signing off for Bulls TV. Thanks, Javi. And remember, guys, your voice matters. But we'll be right back after this commercial break. Attention all Bulls, get prepared for Slam's Halloween Spirit Week. The Spirit Week, we will be having a Halloween costume contest Thursday, October 31st during lunch. So for the Spooky Spirit Week students, you guys really want to make sure that you're sticking to the costume descriptions as possible. Um, we are not allowing any face paint, any fake weapons. You guys may not be wearing masks inside of schools. Uh, no props should be brought with your costume. Try to leave those at home. And then lastly, make sure that if you are going to have a larger than life costume that it can actually fit into your seat. Um, keep in mind that students, if you are out of dress code, we will be charging you a dollar. So make sure that you're sticking to the descriptions as possible. For this year's Halloween Spooky Spirit Week, Monday will be Heroes vs. Villains, Tuesdays will be Beautiful, Black and Orange, Wednesday will be Spooky PJs, and Thursday will be Wear Your Own Costume. Make sure to stick to the description, Bulls. This is Bree signing off. Thursday, October 31st will be our Halloween contest held at the turf by the Blue Tables. Anyone is invited to come participate. The costume will begin 15 minutes in between lunch and there will be prizes for each of the winners for both lunches. Hope to see you there, Bulls. We're back, Bull, and it's time for sports! Hello, Bulls. My name 
is the Gabriel Delgado. And it's time for our weekly sports segment. What's wrong with him? It's playoff week, baby. Let's turn up. All right, because it's playoff week, we don't really know what next week's schedule is. So instead, we're going to interview players and see who their greatest competition You're is. You're the Bulls TV. Can I get your video, please? What? Can I get your video, please? I got you. What's your name? Julio. All right, Julio is going to take over the soccer interviews. Let's get into it. All right, boys, now I'm here with my cousin. William Flores. What's your greatest competition going into Our playoffs? Our greatest competition this year going into playoffs would have to be a team from North, which would be South Tahoe. But we're looking to compete and have fun and win state this year. Thank you. All right, boys, now we're going to switch over to the girl side. I'm here with Amelie. Who you, what's the biggest competition in, in playoffs? I think our biggest competition is Equipo. Me personally, I will never be scared of them. <laughs> That's just me though. All right, boys, it's your boy Julio signing out. Thank you. All right, that boy Julio Cole. Now let's switch over to football. All right, Bulls, now I'm here with one of the most exciting players on the field and varsity captain. Choice Millencon. Who are your guys' biggest competitions coming into the playoffs? Uh, I, don't really, I don't really think we see anyone at competition. We should be able to blow through playoffs and make it to state. Simple. All right, Bulls, now I'm here with cross-country legend. Thomas Laney. How are you preparing for regions and state? Um, I'm making sure I'm giving it all my all in, during practice. I'm stretching, staying hydrated, and uh, making sure I have a good week just so I won't do bad at regions and state this year. All right, Bulls, now switching over to volleyball. I'm here with varsity volleyball captain. Leilani Ennis. Who are your guys' greatest competitions coming into the playoffs? I would say probably Moapa and Virgin Valley are gonna be one of our hardest teams that we play. Um, but it'll also be later on in playoffs that we play them. So I'm excited for that game. All right, Bulls, that's all the time the boy has for today. Gabriel Delgado, AKA Slime, signing out. Thanks, Gabe. And now, Bulls, we have a new segment called Coming In Clutch. Let's head over to Conrick for more information. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Conrick, and today I'm gonna be telling you about Teacher of the Week. This week, we're starting a new segment on Bulls TV where we tell you who the Teacher of the Week was. This week's Teacher of the Week was Miss Shine, but here's Miss Rasa with more. This week, we're highlighting the amazing instruction in Miss Shine's classroom. She's doing her electoral unit where they are reenacting presidential debates and the presidential election, which is coming up on November 5th. Currently, we're talking about elections in the class and like the process of an election, what a candidate has to do, what the media has to do, and what the political parties have to do as well as the election is taking place. Miss Shine is Teacher of the Week, not for teaching the course, but for being an amazing teacher. While in her class, I noticed that she involved students, explained questions, and showed that she cared not only about the course, but about the student's education. Thank you for letting me interview you today, Ms. Shine. So, how do you feel being Teacher of the Week? I'm excited. I've never, I've never had that honor in all the years I've been here, so it's actually very exciting. Uh, why do you think you got, you know, elected Teacher of the Week? I'm gonna assume that everyone likes coming to class and doing their work and learning about, right now, the election process. We start our debates tomorrow. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Conrad Baines, and I'll see you guys next time. And it's time for another commercial break. Welcome back, Bulls. My name is Isaac, and here's next week's lunch menu. On Monday, we'll have shelf stable beef bites and a cheese stick paptillas with applesauce, veggie juice, and milk. Then on Tuesday, we'll have cheese lasagna with marinara and wheat crackers. Wednesday, we'll have bean and cheese pupusa with a crudo salad. Then on Thursday, we'll have turkey nachos with refried beans and paptillas. Then Friday, there's no school. That's all we have for today, Bulls. My name is Isaac Rincon, signing out for Bulls TV. Have you ever sat and wondered, why don't we have school on Nevada Day? Well, here's why. Nevada Day is celebrated to commemorate Nevada's admission to the United States as the 36th state on October 31st, 1864. Nevada was admitted to the Union just eight days before the 1864 presidential election, and its statehood helped support Abraham Lincoln's re-election campaign. 
Nevada Day also serves to reflect on the state's history, heritage, and culture, highlighting its mining roots, the contributions of Native American communities, and the role it has played in the American West. Be sure to think about this when you're looking at our skyline. What we see now every day was nothing but a mystery back then. Thanks, Gahari. It's finally getting a little cooler. Hey, Thomas, how's the weather doing? Hey Bulls, welcome back to another weather segment. I'm your weatherman Thomas Delaney, and for this upcoming week of Halloween, we're looking at some cooler temperatures than we're used to. For the upcoming highs of this upcoming week, on Monday we're looking at a high of 78 degrees. On Tuesday, we're looking at a high of 68 degrees. Bringing it down, we're looking at a high of 67 degrees on Wednesday. And on Halloween, we're looking at a high of 69 degrees. And to finish off the week, for a high on Friday of 65 degrees. For the lows of the week, we're looking at a high, a low of 51 degrees on Monday, a low of 45 degrees on Tuesday, a low of 44 degrees on Wednesday, and a, a low of 46 degrees on Thursday. And to finish off the lows, we're looking at a low of 45 degrees. This week's clouds are looking a little cloudy this week uh, for on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are the cloudiest days of the week. Well, Bulls, make sure you're definitely layered up for this Halloween. I'm your weatherman, Thomas Delaney, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Thomas. Now let's go figure out if Jay Money can continue his streak on this episode of Are You Smarter Than Jay Money? It's time for the most funny energetic and greatest entertainment game show that we have ever produced for Bulls TV. Woo! Are you smarter than Jay Money? Hey Bulls, episode five. Are you smarter than Jay Money coming off of a one game win streak? Let's get it, let's keep it back alive. Are you ready Mr. Martin? I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's get it. At which degree does water freeze at? 32. Correct, Mr. Yamane. What type of disaster features a wind in a funnel shape? Hurricane. Tornado. Correct, Mr. Yamane. You me off. <laughs> 2 0. What is the largest river in the world? Jordan. Version. The, the Nile? Nope. Um, oh, uh, oh, um, Amazon. Correct, Jay Yamane. Oh, that's what. Okay. What continent does bananas originally come from? Asia. South America. Where is it? Oh, Asia. Correct, oh, Jay Yamane. Oh, God, no way. All right, what uh, fruit does raisins come from? Grapes! Grapes. <laughs> oh, I think I said it first. I think I said it first. No, I did think I, I think my <laughs> word came out first. We'll have to put it in a replay. Uh, okay. But I think I got that one. All right, all right, so right. you'll see at the end the replay. Uh, fruit does As you can raisins see, come from? I definitely said it first, but good game, right. Mr. Yamane. Uh, but I won that one. That's it. Two game win streak. No Me versus Yamane. No Hold it, Mr. Yamane. Take the L. Let's do it. That's it. Uh, let's go back to the studio. It's really starting to feel like it's J Money against the world. But that's all the time we have for today, Bulls. Make sure to be, be smart, smart, play fair, fair stay, stay safe. safe. See you guys, guys next time. time.